Okay, we're gonna get started. So let me go ahead and introduce our guest chef for the month of May. This is Chef Alan Susser. We're so happy to have him here. Um, he's also special because he actually learned how to cook at FIU's culinary school. Is that I correct? did, absolutely. Yes, it's a great school. FIU has been wonderful for so many people here in our community in Miami, as well as being an international school. So people from all over the world come here, learn hospitality, learn hotel management, as well as learn culinary skills. Right. So it's great, and that's what attracted me to Miami and uh, has been a part of the magnet of Miami all throughout. Right. So. Yes. And you were telling me you're from New York originally, but you always knew you wanted to be a chef. Absolutely. Well, I started cooking with my grandmother, so I'm really thrilled to see the kids and grandmothers and, and families out there because that's what cooking should be about. Cooking should be about cooking with the family because food and love and just getting together and understanding that is so important. Good. Yeah. Okay, so everybody should have your meal kits. I see everyone's already got things coming out they're, they're, of your meal yep. kits. Um, so we're going to start. Tell us what we're making tonight. So we're going to do a Caribbean curried mahi-mahi. You know, so many people are afraid to cook fish. Yes. Uh, and that's really one of the reasons why I love to cook fish, because it's a, just a little bit of a challenge to cook fish, but it's so rewarding and healthy and fresh, uh, and it's quite easy to cook if you kind of watch some of the details. And as we go through tonight's recipe, we'll be, I'll be pointing out some of the details, some how to watch the, the key components of cooking a fish, as well as how to season it and flavor it, so that uh, you'll have a, a great little recipe that you can cook anytime within a half hour. So this is kind of an easy recipe. And you'll see that some of these things can be set, sort of prepped up or prepared ahead some of the components of it. Though okay. we're starting off today from scratch right. uh, with that. So that's kind of where, where we're starting. So do so, we get to yeah, dig let's, in? Let's get started, okay. everybody. What do we start with All right. first? Well, first I just want to take a look at the fish. So that's, uh, I went to the fish market this morning and found some uh, mahi mahi. And explain what mahi mahi is. I mean, some mahi, may not know the difference in fish. You know, okay. I, I, explain what type of fish it well, is. Well, mahi mahi is a white flesh fish. Uh, it cooks up nice and flavorful. Um, this is. We'll get an overhead okay. shot. Just one Here second. Here you go. We'll get an overhead okay, so that's the skin on the, the mahi mahi. Here you have the, the flesh. This is kind of a, a, a fillet cut, it's a long, long fish with a, a head on it. Uh, sometimes here in Florida we call this dolphin, but it's not the porpoise, it's dolphin and really fun to catch as well. It's not so, flipper. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. So this is when it comes skin on like that, and a lot of fish you can eat skin on. And this you could as well, but I'm going to fillet this a little bit. So taking the fish, I'm not sure what you have. They already uh, have their fish okay, that for, doesn't have any skin on okay. it, and they've already got it in their smaller fillets. Good, fillet, so, so I'm going to just take this bigger piece and take it off of the skin so we can just trim that off and so we've got one piece there and kind of just going along the skin so you get all of the the flesh and really nice okay great and so that's nice and set there okay so with that i'm going to now cut into four portions so what i love about this mahi mahi is you can see it's a kind of a firm flesh fish, mm -hmm. okay? And that's, that's really good for easy cooking. Sometimes fish is very flaky and it kind of will fall apart in the pan. So that's one of the key things is not to overcook fish because mm -hmm. that's going to make it fall apart. So with the, with the fish, what I'm gonna do is start to, by marinating it, okay? So I've got the, the four pieces here and gonna put a little bit of salt on it okay as well as some lime juice okay so for the lime juice i take the lime and cut it in half okay so you got your knife cut it in half and then we're going to squeeze it so we're going to squeeze the lime juice i've got a little bit of a squeeze here and which is a tongs i'm going to take one of these limes and squeeze all that nice juice in there and get all that in there and what does the citrus of the lime do for the so, marinade? How, why, do you, why do you do this step before you cook the fish? This is a very Caribbean technique, okay. actually. It, uh, it lightens it up. It also allows the, 
acidity to blend into the, the fish itself. So it firms it up with the salt and, and the acidity. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper to that as well. Okay. Okay. And then also a little bit of cilantro. So okay. our cilantro, I'm going to take that. And with the cilantro, I washed it already, but going to take the knife and just kind of chop that up. So this is going to, what it will do is you'll have this sort of coating to it. So it'll be color and texture and flavor. And that's really what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. you, you can smell the acidity of the, the lime, which is nice and fresh. I can smell that, right. Okay, and then the cilantro, so you're taking your French knife or your knife and chopping it up, just chopping it up like that, okay, and going to just put it into a pile. Okay. Some of the cilantro I'm going to use for afterwards. So you're saving some of the cilantro yep. you just had and then you're putting the rest of it on the fish. Yep. So just to repeat, to make sure you guys are up to, to speed here, <laughs> make sure that you've got your fish out, make sure you've got it on a plate um, where you can lightly season it with a little bit of salt and pepper and then squeeze that fresh lime all over. Then take the cilantro and slice it very finely and you should have something that looks very similar to what Chef Allen just had. Okay, guys, let me see where you're at. Uh, anyone? Anyone okay. show us if you can. So oh, there, I see there. I see, yeah. There, okay, okay so you can see it's actually the lime juice, kind of like a, a, a bit of a ceviche, cooks the fish slightly, which means it firms it up a little bit. So you have the, the little bit of herb on it, the salt, the lime juice, simple, just like that. Right, Okay, Beautiful. so that gives us a starting point. And we're going to let that set for a little bit while we start to get organized on some of the others. Okay, so we'll put that okay. aside and move on. So moving on is going to be, since uh, we, we're timing two things here. We're cooking fish with a curry sauce, and we're cooking rice. Okay, so rice takes a little bit longer. Right. So that to cook the rice, we're going to start the rice now. Okay. And get that on the fire, and then we'll come back to getting ready for the fish. Okay, great. Okay. So we all need you to grab a small saucepan with a lid, if you have okay. it. Okay, yep. saucepan with a lid. And then you should have a bag of rice in your kit. So we're going to need to measure that rice, and yeah. you'll explain portions for us. Okay, so rice to water is, is a simple task, okay? Generally, it's somewhere between one to one to one to two. One part rice to one part or better to two parts water. And it all depends culturally how you like your rice. Okay. So some some uh, some cultures like a one-to-one, -one, one rice to one water, and it's a firmer rice with a bite in it. Uh, most of us like it two to one, two parts of water to one part rice. Okay. So if you have one cup of rice, you have two cups of water. Okay. Okay, this is a cup and a half of rice. Okay. So I'm gonna put that in there. And to that, I've got three cups of water okay, okay. and I'm gonna put that started. on the fire and what we're gonna do is turn up the flame and we're gonna bring that to a simmer so bring it to a boil and then turn it down to a simmer so the rice goes on into the rice I'm gonna put a little bit of salt okay just a pinch of salt okay. into it and how high is your heat for everybody out there it's a medium high heat that's why i say you want to bring this to a boil somewhat rapidly mm -hmm. and then we're going to turn it down okay so once it boils it comes to a boil we're going to stir it we're going to turn the heat down and then cover it and let it simmer for okay. about 15 minutes like that okay so as you all catch up making your rice um you're not covering your rice yet we're bringing it to a boil Chef Allen, add a little bit of salt to it for flavoring. Um, and again, the portion was one cup rice to two cups water, or one and a half cups rice to three cups water. Did I there do you that go. right? Yeah. Did I do my math right? I did it right. You okay. did. Good. Go. Does anyone have any questions yet so far? We're okay? We're simple, simple, focused. Good. All right. Okay. So now what we're going to do. Okay, so this is a fairly high fire until it comes to a simmer. When it comes to a, that boil, we're going to turn it down. So we're going to keep an eye towards that over there, and we've got our lid going on there. So over here, now we're going to do a little kitchen work, okay? So our kitchen work is going to start off with an onion. Okay, so for the onion, I'm going to take it and cut it, okay, to remove the skin on it. And 
I usually like a little bit smaller knife for that. You got to be careful because sometimes it gets slippery. But you take the onion and peel it. Okay, we've gone from, you can buy pre-chopped onions if you want to, but I'll tell you what, the, these are, the idea is to try to do this as close as possible to the time you're cooking. Okay. Because you don't want it to oxidize. Cooking with onions and garlic, onions and garlic are aromatics. Right. This is like the heart of cooking. Yes. This is really what you want, where all the flavor comes from, is the onion and the garlic and the spices. And so that's why doing it as close as possible to what you're going to need. So with that, Fresh. I've got the garlic and the onion. So the onion, I'm going to take that, cut. This is a large onion, so I'm going to just take that and cut it in half. Now, this takes a little bit of a technique, okay? So with that, with the technique, is what you're doing is cutting it in half and then slicing it thin, just slicing down thin like that slicing it one way, then turning it. Okay, you guys with me? I see. Turning it, and then we're going to cut it the other way, and so it's kind of a nice dice of the onion. Okay, so we've got the onion diced like that, and that onion we're going to take and put into a bowl to be able to use in a moment. Okay, I see Nancy's getting her onion peeled. She's getting ready to cut it in half and dice it. Okay, good. I see some others out there working with the onions at this point. Your rice should be on. We should be dicing up the onions. Lashandia, you guys, you've got a lot of people in your kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you got a lot of kids there helping you out. That's great. Let's get that well, onion. Well, like, believe it or not, this is the first time I'm using my kitchen. So I... because I got, <laughs> I don't know, I'm like, kind of behind of the recipe, but I'm so excited that I'm using my kitchen for the first time after a couple of years. Thank um, you. Is oh. that Eli? Do I say it right? This is me. Yeah, this uh, is me. I'm the, I'm the assistant property manager of uh, Verde Gardens. Oh, so we, great. And so we do have some new clients from Mother Student, which is the other uh, property, like Mr. Abel, Joseph. So like, like we are going to try to motivate more people to come to the classes. Oh, I love it. I love okay. it. Okay. So I see Nancy's uh, starting to chop her Nancy's onion. Nancy's uh, getting her yep. onion going. I see. Yeah, go ahead. Let's <laughs> you guys are good. Okay. You're doing good, Nancy. Go ahead. Go for it. <laughs> we got you. While you're chopping the onion, I'm going to talk about the garlic, okay? So again, I, I prefer to get a whole head of garlic, take it and crack it open, and what you're doing is you're getting like large, large cloves of garlic, okay? okay yep. So instead of, you can if you wanted to, you can buy processed garlic, the flavor's out of it, mm -hmm. okay? So again, just like that, fresh, yeah, use, right. use fresh. So I'm actually gonna come back over here, I'm gonna chop that in a second, but yes. as you can see, this is coming to a, a simmer, and so that it's just, simmer is just about ready to boil and just going to mix it so it's not sticking anywhere. And now we're going to take this and turn down the heat. So turning down the heat is going to be a little bit of a trick here. Are we going to get there? <laughs> Every stove acts differently, right. so. Right. This is half a heat. Just one second. <laughs> I'm going to. No, we'll just get it. All okay. The tricks that you know. All right. Let's see about the the front one there. Okay, that's a soft one. Okay. So a nice soft heat there. Okay, and just almost as low as it will go. And we're gonna put the the lid on it. Cover it and leave it. Yeah, cover it and leave it. We're okay. gonna check in a few minutes to make sure it's not boiling too rapidly. Okay. So see if it's low enough, and we're gonna leave it like that. Okay. So onions are chopped. Now I'm gonna go over to our garlic. So and just real quickly again, Chef, sure. I wanna make sure we are only using. We had a large onion. Not sure what size your onion is, but ours was pretty large. Ours was like the size of a baseball. We're only using half of that onion. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. So we only chopped up half the onion and put it in a bowl. Now we're off to the garlic. We have two large cloves. So of garlic. you've got two large cloves of garlic. So the garlic cloves, 
and you could chop it like that if you want to, but that's a long process. So mm -hmm. taking the side of your knife, okay, you have the pointed side, the back side, and then the whole body of it. You take that and put it on the garlic clove, and then with your palm, Give it smash a it, whack. okay? Just like that. And we're going to do that the same thing here and whack the two of them. And then we're going to chop it, okay? So that way we get it nice and choppy and it'll uh, release all of those aromatics. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we want to it's do. It's a lot easier to do that. Uh, yep. Do it that way with the whack and then the, then the slicing. Yep. So that uh, you can put this into a, a little bit of a grinder. There's vegetable grinders that, mm -hmm. uh, that work really well. But again, doing it fresh is really where all the flavor comes from. And that's why there's a simple recipe, but all the flavor comes from doing it a la minute, sort of, just like getting ready and going with it. Right. And I love that you're emphasizing using a real onion, yeah. using real cloves of garlic. You know, what's interesting is it's also more economical that way. Because when you buy something that's already been pre-diced or chopped for you, it's going to be a little more expensive because mm -hmm. they're building in the labor that it took to dice that up and put it in the freezer right. or whatever. So it's not only fresher, but it's more economical. Yeah. So just, just to talk about it, economical, uh, like garlic like here, like if you have this and you've prepared too much, you can take this, pour, pour a little bit of olive oil into it and cover it and put it into the refrigerator. So, oh, yep. see, this is a little bit high. See how it's simmering up. So we're going to take it and kind of really softly Bring turn down. that down, hopefully. Nope. <laughs> the, the flame is just, there we go, just a, OK, so just a soft simmer, as you can see in there. It's boiling, but we're just going to a soft simmer there. Okay, right. so as I was saying about the garlic, you can pour a little bit of olive oil in there or vegetable oil, and if you want to preserve it. So if you've chopped mm -hmm. up more than you want to use, mm -hmm. you can use it again in right. the next few days. So that, right. that would be a good thing. Onions, garlic, then what we have is our peppers. Okay, so you have some sweet pepper there. Uh, I've actually got, uh, this recipe is based actually on what is, I usually, it's a Caribbean recipe, and in the Caribbean, I use seasoning peppers. Seasoning peppers, this is going to be a little bit hot. Uh, the seasoning peppers are real colorful peppers that are a little bit spicy and a little bit hot, but we can use either that or we can use uh, sweet peppers uh, with it. So and I've picked uh, to use a couple colors right. because colors always add interest to right. it. Right. Nancy or Lashinda, Lash anybody, can you show me the pepper that you have? You should have a, a bell pepper. I'd like to see it. Can you show it to me? Let me see what you got. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Oh, yes. There you go. You got it. Great. Yeah, so good. they each have one of those peppers. We're going to use the whole pepper? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Going to take it and dice it. Okay. So here I'm cutting the, the colors. So this will give us a little bit more texture that's going along with it. And chef, if they've got their bell pepper, you want them to take out the membrane. Yeah, I would take out the the. So if you're taking the that the bell pepper, cut the top off. Okay, cut the top off. It's more like this size. Take it and cut straight down on it in half. Okay, and then you have some seeds in there which you don't really want. Take away the seeds, and then what we're going to do is. Take it and cut long strips. Slowly cut some nice long strips of your pepper. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you can leave it in strip form or you can cut it into a small dice like that. So it's again, this will sort of match the size of the onions as they're cooking. So right. we're going to do that. And that's a, tr uh, that's a tip we learned uh, a while ago is that when we're cooking with vegetables and they're all going to cook around the same time, try to keep them about the same size so mm -hmm. that they can cook at the same temperature and you don't get a real thick onion and a real small pepper or vice versa where it's right. overwhelming the flavor. I think that's a, a really good point with that. Right. So with these colorful peppers, Again, in the market, there's usually several different kinds of peppers. And if you like, again, being a Caribbean-inspired, if you like some of the hot peppers, 
you can do that as well. Mix some sweet peppers and hot peppers, whether it's scotch bonnets or cubanos or okay. jalapeno or, or anything like that. I don't that. know if anyone's yeah. daring enough to get out there for a scotch bonnet. Yeah. Uh, that well, is one of the hottest peppers I've yeah, ever had. They are but delicious. But I do know we have some families that like it spicy, so exactly. if you want to add some spice, go ahead. So this is cooking a little bit too fast. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to try to turn this flame down. It's very soft, but there's a lot of flame to it. So. Right. So you all should be checking your rice. Yeah, as just well. check your rice and see if it's just just a soft. Okay. So I think we can do it that way. See, there you go. Okay. We'll work on that. All right. Okay. So I've got the bell peppers. I've used a couple of colors, but you've got the, the red one and remove the, the membrane and you've got some nicely there. So you've got the chopped peppers, garlic, onions, that's all coming together. Now you may take a look and I don't know how much cilantro you, you chopped up before, but we may want to put a little bit more cilantro into your, your container. So let's take a little bit more and Again, that fresh, sweet aromatic of the green herb is beautiful. And what I'm noticing is that Chef is taking the cilantro, taking the top part of the leaves off, yep. and chopping it. But there is some stem in there, too. It's not all stem, but you just chop right through it. Right. You're not pulling yeah. off each leaf. No. I mean, this is not gourmet here. This is full flavor. Yes. And there's a lot of cultures that love to use stems, quite honestly, in their, their cooking. Uh, Southeast Asians use it all the time, use the cilantro stems. Thank so, you. yeah, it's, it's really delicious. So I've got that ready. Now, you guys okay? You up to, up to speed? It looks like I see the peppers are chopped. Your peppers are all chopped. Your onions are ready. They're chopped on the side. Cilantro. Okay. And I, I see Chef grabbing his coconut milk. Yep, That's the so, can of coconut milk. So I yep. guess we're going to grab that next. So let's see if you've got your coconut milk, and we're going to open it uh, with an opener. Yep. You're sh you shake it. You shake it first. I shake it because it, it settles. You know, so there's a, a settling. So I, I want to use the whole of it. So I shake it up. Okay. And get that ready, and then just go around the going around the can. And there's a lot of different good brands of coconut milk. Uh, some from Latin America, some from the Caribbean, some from Southeast Asia. Uh, some people have a cultural preference, but uh, generally they're all fairly much the, the same like that. Okay, so again, getting all this mise en place together, getting all of the... You used a fancy term. What yes. you say? Mise en, Mi mise en place. place. It means to put in place. To put in okay, place. Okay, so now we start off with raw ingredients, but now we've got some great ingredients, and I'm also going to take the lime as well and squeeze the other lime. Actually, there's only one in the recipe. So I'm going to take that and squeeze that into another container for us. So what I did, I, I jumped ahead before, but a little tongs. And what I've used the, the inner part of the tongue here to squeeze the lime juice. So kind of grabbing it like that and just using it for leverage in this to grab and get the lime juice. Nice. And it's okay, a very so, helpful trick. You can get yeah, more juice out of it exactly. that way than using your hands. Yeah, yeah. With lime juice, it's really hard to get it, get lime juice out of the, that. So we squeeze that. Again, can you smell that? Oh, yeah, it smells great. All of these ingredients have just wonderful smells and aromatics and aromas, and that's kind of really what we're looking at. Okay. So I'm just going to peek in here. Okay, that's looking good. We're almost there. So if everyone's ready to, to cook here a little bit, what we're going to do is a, I've got a nice large pan, heavy bottom pan. I'm going to put it on the, on the heat and turn up the, the heat a little bit. Now the process is going to be this. I'm going to make the sauce and then cook the fish and then finish the sauce and the fish together. Okay. Okay, so to begin with, when you're doing a curry, there's a couple things that happen with curry. Curry is a dry spice, okay? And it's a combination of anywhere from five to 15 different spices. 
from uh, coriander and cumin and fenugreek and all sorts of things. And there's actually a couple different flavors of curry. There's red curry, red curry. there's green curry, mm -hmm. there's yellow curry. Uh, this is a, a yellow curry, which refers to the, actually the color of the chili powder, the chili flake itself. So a green chili would make a, a green curry. Right. A red, red, hot red curry, it comes from a red chili. This comes from a, a mild yellow chili, okay, okay with the, the other spices. And you can put it in there and, and utilize it, but to release the aromatics, to add and bring yeah. out the flavors, what we're going to do is cook it into it. I just learned this tip, and so I'm going to repeat it because I think it's really important. We are taking the curry spice that you have in your meal kit, it's the yellow curry spice, and we're putting it into a pan with no other ingredients at this well, point. Well, no, we will, we'll put ingredients first. Oh, then, we are. Yes, okay, but yes. then you warm it up. That yep. whole point is yep. by putting heat on yeah. the spice, it brings out it all brings the natural out the flavor. flavors. Got exactly. It. Good. So before I start here, I just want to take a look at where our rice is since it's. Okay, so that's looking good. So I'm going to now turn down this heat altogether and just. Let it stay there. Okay. This pan, as I said, we're getting getting some heat on. So you have it on what, medium? Medium. Okay. Medium heat. Okay. So we're going to cook this sauce, move the sauce to the side, cook the fish in the same pan, and then add the coconut milk. So Wonderful. that's kind of how this is all going to come together. All right, together. let's do it. So to begin with, if you're all ready, we're going to put a little bit of oil, olive oil or vegetable oil, in to the pan. And as you can see it, you can, and smell it, you can see it uh, sort of smoke lightly, if we're ready for that. Everybody ready, watching? Okay, so into that, what I'm going to do is add in the onions. Okay, step back okay. a second. Okay, so the onions are gonna go in there. I'm gonna take... I'm gonna away again. No, 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 you're not. Okay, so the onions are gonna start to simmer and cook. We're going to turn this flame down slightly. Okay. Okay, so again, it's the aromatics. It's funny because I think so many cultures, my grandmother would say when she's re getting ready to cook, she said, I don't, well, I don't know what we're going to make them for dinner, but I'll chop some onions and cook them and then we'll decide Figure what we're going to make. <laughs> yeah. So, well, it's true. Onions are a basis for a lot of recipes. So many yeah. recipes. Yes. So. So here I've got the onions cooking a little bit. They start to just get a nice color. They soften, they get aromatic a little bit. Going to season the onions with the garlic and a little bit of salt, and now I'm gonna add my garlic into it. Okay, and so that here's some basics of aromatics. You get the smells coming out of it, which is really wonderful. Okay, now you can smell the garlic I coming out. It. First was the onion, now the garlic. I can smell it. I'm going to see. How are you all doing? I see someone back there. Nancy, someone's on the stove. I see them. They're back there. <laughs> yes, they're working with the onion and the garlic. A okay. little bit of salt. Does anyone have any questions? If you do, oh, nice shot there, Nancy. Nice, we yeah. Saw it. We saw yeah, it. Yeah, that good. was good. Thank you for I see a couple of them, yeah. yeah. Good job. Beautiful. Okay, so. With that, now that it starts to turn, I'm going to add in the curry powder. So here is where we're going to cook the curry powder in. I got about a tablespoon of curry powder okay. into this. And again, now you can get, smell again a whole different type of oh, wow. aromatic. That's, that's a strong smell. Yeah, yep. It's not spicy, okay? It's mm -hmm. not spicy, but it starts to cook in. It coats the onions and it coats the garlic and it also releases its own aromatics. Right. And that's really where the curry flavors come from. If you just put these in together into like coconut milk, it'll taste okay, but you'd have sort of a one-dimensional curry. Yeah. By adding it in slowly, letting it cook through, you start to get a, you know, a couple layers. different layers of right. it. Right. So now I'm going to actually push this to the side a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna take that and just push it off to the the side now that the, they've started. Okay, I'm gonna clear the rest of the pan here. If everyone's ready, what I've done is got it set, yep. situated there. I'm gonna pour in the rest of the olive oil here. Okay. And 
Just focus on the fish now, okay? Pan is there. Going to focus on the fish. One, two, three, and four. Okay. We're cooking with fish. Now you're going, We right? haven't been doing this yet. This is our first time we've been cooking awesome. with fish. Awesome. Good. I'm so excited. So fish, uh, the, the key to cooking fish is putting it into a hot pan, okay, so that it doesn't stick. You want to make sure it's not sticking. So if you can hand me a spatula there. And what we're going to do is just make sure she's not sticking, okay? Okay. So they're not sticking there. It's not sticking there. And that's all fine. Okay, so we've got all of that. You've got the aromatic oil that's in there, which looks great. Now we're going to, again, mix some of that, more of that oil into the onions. So they're starting to brown and get some nice colors going on into it. And I see you're, you're using your hand and, and using it to tip the skillet yeah, up. Yeah, so that the, the oil goes into the onions right. because they start off somewhat dry. Right. And now you can start to see in the fish, around the edges of the fish, you start to see them become opaque. And they're starting to brown a little bit. I see. We've got, okay, Lashandia, we see it. We see yours. Yep. Okay, so you're doing good? Doing good. I know it's a little bit complicated to do all these things at the same time, but you're doing great. Yep. Okay, so the, the fish is all there. You see how around the edge it's starting, it's starting, to, starting to, to brown? Mm -hmm. Starting yep. to brown and caramelize. So what we're going to do is take a little peek under the, under the hood here. So this okay. doesn't take long at all once no. you get the fish so, in. Wow. See that? We're going to take that Beautiful. and flip the fish. So just carefully getting underneath it, flipping the fish, and flipping the fish. Now we're going to spread out the onion mixture, which is caramelizing nice. And we're going to take our peppers that we had aside and put that into the pan. Oh, nice color. Okay, so we've got some beautiful colors going on there. And we're going to let that simmer. We're going to season that a little bit. So you got the onions and peppers, a little bit more salt. You've got a little bit of peppercorn, so a little black pepper into that. The fish is cooking nice. And now we're going to add in our coconut milk. Okay. okay to let this, we're ready let to this go with simmer. the coconut milk. Okay, so we spread that around. Oh, wow. I can see the sauce coming together now. Yeah. Now, now you sort of just give it a nice shake. Now, you didn't use all the coconut milk. Well, it depends on how, how big a pan and, and not and how it's cooking. So I didn't want to cover it. I use about three quarters of the coconut okay. milk. Okay, so kind of eyeball it in your yeah. pan and, and see. Okay. Yeah, you know, so I want to set that up. And you can see it's, it's hot enough. There's enough spread here that it's still cooking the fish. It didn't, though it wasn't hot coconut milk, it's still cooking, cooking. right now. Right. Okay, so I think we're doing really well with this. Yes, <laughs> show me if you can some of your skillets. Oh, there's one. Love it. Yes. Let me see another one. Nancy, I see yours. Yes. Ruth, I miss you. At the end, you got to show me what yours look like. Okay? <laughs> I miss seeing you. All right. Kenya, you doing okay? Hopefully, Kenya is doing okay. Yeah, I see. I Everyone see some good cooking going yeah, on here. Yeah, good cooking. If very, you, very nice. Any questions, feel free to jump in, but you all seem to be doing really well with this. Like, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. You've made uh, this easy enough that they don't have to stop you and ask a whole bunch of questions. They're doing great. <laughs> okay, so, so now it's, it's now turning we're, to yeah, a little so bit now, thicker. Exactly. So the coconut milk thickens with the flavors that, that we have here. Okay, we have a question. We have a question. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost good. time to eat yet because it looks delicious. <laughs> yeah, it really is almost time to eat. So how long have you thought that maybe we've been cooking this fish for? Would you so the, the fish cooks in about five, six minutes. Okay. You know, about three minutes on each side. Okay. So that, uh, it, you know, it's a thin piece of fish. Uh, if it was a thicker one, actually, if this is a thicker fish and you're doing this with a thicker fish, what I'd probably do is either cook it longer here or put it into an oven to come to temperature for a little bit. Okay. You know, so, but this is a, a thin piece of fish so that you can see the nice colors. It browned nicely. It's still browning. The sauce is reducing. Okay, you want to kind of keep it moving so it doesn't uh, stick to the bottom 
or get stuck anywhere. So while this is just slightly simmering, we'll come back to the rice, okay? Okay. So our rice here, mmm, wow. <laughs> okay, we're gonna take it and fluff the rice. Okay, and really nice uh, rice there. And into the rice, as I suggested, we're going to take a little bit of our, I'm going to use some oh, of the lime juice in the rice. Yes. And I'm going to cheat and put it just a touch of lime juice back in there. Wonderful. I'm going to put some of the cilantro into the rice and just give that, that a little bit of a stir. Okay, and that is almost ready. I'm just going to set that off. Now here I'm also going to put a little bit of our cilantro into this as this finishes. So we've got so many great flavors working here. We've got uh, the red, the bell pepper or sweet pepper, onion, garlic, cilantro, obviously curry powder, coconut mm -hmm. milk. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a, a bunch of flavors. I can't imagine what that just Very must be simple. in now, your mouth. Very simple. Now, I'm going to taste it to see if with a salt and pepper and uh -huh. acidity balance. Okay. Hmm. Did you do it? Very nice. I, I'm going to add just a spot more salt and pepper to that. Okay. That's good. All right, so it looks beautiful like that. And then we're ready to, to plate up. Ready to plate. Okay. okay. You guys were waiting for this moment. Oh, look at the rice. Beautiful. Nice. Nice job with the rice. Awesome. Christian good. Yeah. How's everyone doing there? I think we're I, good. I think I everyone's see some ready to steam move. steam coming out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wow. You guys have done really, really well. <laughs> Great. Yum, so yum, yum. So let's go ahead and plate up. And as, okay. if you're ready, if you've been able to cook your fish, like Chef said, for about six minutes or so, um, and you're ready, go ahead and start plating up. If you need a few more minutes, go ahead yeah, and Yeah, we can wait if we, if we need it. Any yeah. questions uh, at the moment? Again, this is using mahi-mahi, uh, 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 other fish, uh, uh, mullet, uh, kingfish, snapper, yellowtail, uh, all of those work really well. What about, I'm going to ask you a question off the cuff. Sure. What about cod? I mean, I see cod. Cod is beautiful. Would that be cod, okay? Yes. I see that on sale a lot in the yes. grocery stores and wonder the, if that the, would be something With cod, too. though, it's, it's a little bit more flaky. Okay. Okay, and there's nothing wrong with that flake, but you just have to be careful when you're cooking it. Okay. Okay, so it, it does have that so it nice flake. Fall apart. Right. So, you know, and that's why here you've got the nice, uh, full, nice fillets because it's not such a flaky fish right. in that sort of fashion. Right. Okay, so I nice guess. Spoon for yep. the rice. Yep. So we've got a little bit of rice in the center. Okay. So we put the rice in the center. With this then, what I'm going to do is take a little bit of a ladle. Mm, get some of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. And going to just ladle the sauce around. Okay, so just getting that in. So you've got some nice colors and textures and flavors going on. And that's always, a, you know, you eat with your eyes and so uh, that you really want to make sure that this comes together like that. And, yeah, I mean, it's beautiful the way you're doing this. Yeah. I would just dump it on. <laughs> you're a chef, but you have to have it artistically right. <laughs> and then we take the nice piece of fish and put it on top. Oh, wow. What a okay. beautiful dish. There you go. And then... We've actually got, I'll take a couple leaves of, now we'll take the, the leaves of cilantro. And finish and with And just that. finish it Pretty. with just, you know, a little fluff of cilantro. Right. Which is really nice. Great. Oh, such a gorgeous dish. We need to make sure we get a close-up of this. Let's see if I can get it. Beautiful. See how beautiful that is? The sauce around. We put the rice in the center, and then we ladle the curry sauce, and then we tapped the fish on the rice and finished it off with some cilantro. Stacy, you're an excellent sous chef. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know really what I'm doing, but I'm going along with what you're telling you, me. So. You've done great. You've done great. That's great. Yeah. 
So Nancy, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing that you just recently added your coconut milk. So good for you that you're making sure that you're thickening up that sauce. Don't rush the process if you're yep. behind. Yep. Lashandia, I love it. Look at that beautiful Look at that. plate. Yes. Gorgeous. Very nice. Eloy, we need to see you in a minute. I know, you're still cooking, <laughs> you're still cooking. Okay, and Ruth, if you're there, can I see you and say hello? Would you mind turning on your camera? If she, if she wouldn't mind. Yeah, she, well, yeah? okay. Right, okay, that's fine. We'll catch up with you next time, Ruth. Kenya, are you doing okay over there? Yes. See, see I, I think what it is is they're cooking in their pajamas. Oh, and they don't want to see you know? in their pajamas. <laughs> Raise your hand if you're cooking in pajamas. Oh, hello, Liz. Nice to see you. Hi. Okay. Nice to see oh, you. There yeah, we've we're got getting some oh, good. Good, yes, good. Yes, very nice. Okay, well, definitely, <laughs> we're going to finish up here and let you guys eat while it's hot. But if you can, take some pictures. We'd love to see your pictures of your food. Um, yes. And take them. Thank you. Okay, thank you all. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you in another month. And thank you, Chef Allen, oh, for coming. Oh, a pleasure. And thank you, FIU. I wanted, I wanted to say something to Chef Allen. Yes. Okay. This is great. Okay. I really appreciate the book that I received with the bag of food. Oh. Uh, yes, oh. very interesting. I didn't know that you could actually grab a fish that's poisonous and clean it out. Thank you. Thank you. That's thank you. Right. I, I so thank that, you. Thank you. It tastes good. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah. Good. There's yes, the it's inspiration. Good, thank you. I hope you try some of the other recipes. They're all, though this is about lionfish, it's really very easy to do any fish, cook any of the fish or, or shrimp or any other type of fish, or you can even do chicken with these recipes. So though it's talking about fresh Caribbean cooking, seasonal cooking. And to me, so when you talk about seasonal cooking, you're talking about what's fresh in season. So like right now we're coming into mango season. I love mangoes, you know, so I would be putting mangoes into just about everything. Uh, with that so that picking out recipes that have some mango in it are really easy and, and good. Like I said, this is a Caribbean fish recipes, but very adaptable to almost anything. Right. So very good. my pleasure to share this with you. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to dig in. I can't wait another minute. I'm going to try okay. this. This looks so good. Let's see. And mahi-mahi is one of my favorite fish. Right? Mm. Good. Mmm. Delicious, delicious. Mm. Nicely done. Tender, flavorful. Again, being careful when you're cooking fish not to overcook not it. Not to overcook it. It keeps it moist and all the flavors are there. Right, good. Yeah. Well, again, thank you, Chef. A pleasure. Thank you all for joining us. Make sure to take those pictures and we'll see you next month. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Thank you. God bless. Great to see you. <laughs>